revolutionary ideals of P. B. Shelley in his poem, Ode to the West Wind. Marx. 10–12. Answer. P. B. Shelley Wright in his boyhood reflected some revolutionary tendencies which ultimately made him a rebel and reformer, a prophet and idealist. Since his Eton days, he had been a die-hard lover of liberty, and his soul had revolted against all forms of tyranny and oppression. His, Ode to the West Wind, perfectly typifies his unflinching revolutionary spirit, and at the same time, marks the attainment of Shelley's ripeness as a poet. Although apparently a nature poem, this ode symbolizes the mighty West Wind as a vehicle for Shelley's revolutionary ideals. An ever restless and moving spirit like Shelley himself, the West Wind is symbolic of his faith in the future emancipation of mankind, and of regeneration after destruction. Shelley believes that human society is suffering from deadly diseases like tyranny, oppression and corruption. These corroding diseases can be cured only by a miraculous change, a change which can be brought about by, power, and Shelley believes the West Wind possesses this power. So he passionately appeals to the west wind to listen to his prayer. Wild spirit, which art moving everywhere. Destroyer and preserver. Here, oh here. Shelley depicts the west wind both as a destroyer, and a preserver, with perfectly suitable examples. He says that the west wind drives away the dead and decayed leaves in the same way as a magician drives away ghosts through his magical power. It scatters the seeds far and near and covers them with dust so that they remain underground in winter, like dead bodies in graves. But in spring, they sprout into plants with fragrant and colorful flowers. The ode contains five stanzas, the first three stanzas describing the regenerating impact of the west wind on the natural world. While describing the furious wind on earth, Shelley says that the mighty west wind drives away the yellow, and black, and pale, and hectic red, and pestilence striken multitudes, leaves, which actually symbolizes none other than the corruption striken mankind. Shelley's storm links volcanic imagery of social revolution with the biblical imagery of resurrection. The seeds will rise from their graves when the spring wind blows its trumpet, just as after black rain, and fire, and hail, mankind will be reborn at the call of poetry. To develop the theme of regeneration, Shelley introduces in the Ode the cycle of seasons, autumn, winter, spring, and summer. The first stanza is devoted to autumn, winter and spring, while the second and the third state the activities of the wind in summer. The change in the cycle of seasons in the natural world is mixed up with the idea of destruction and creation, death and rebirth, and decadence and progress. In the fourth stanza, the world of nature is transferred to the world of humanity. Shelley now invokes the tremendous power of the west wind in his own life. He calls upon the wind to regenerate him from his state of disappointment and despair. The agonized soul of the poet appeals to free him from the bondage of the world, from the shackles of convention. Oh! Lift me as a wave, a leaf, a cloud. I fall upon the thorns of life. I bleed. The theme of regeneration enters into a new phase in the last stanza, which attains a universal dimension. Shelley wants to regenerate or to reform the whole humanity of the world. In this task of reformation, he invokes the revolutionary spirit of the West Wind. He wants the West Wind to blow over him, just as it blows over the forest, to fill him with indomitable power and courage so as to change the unawakened world. He wants the wind to scatter his verses all over the world like ashes and sparks from an extinguished hearth, so that the fire of revolution can destroy the old system of corruption, oppression and exploitation in different parts of the world. And thus a new prosperous society will be built on the ruins of the old. Just as the dead leaves form soil, out of which new vegetation grows, Shelley's thoughts which were considered dead by many will prove to be a fruitful ground for new ideas to spring from. Thus, he will be able to bring perfect happiness for mankind. Shelley's firm optimism on regeneration is clearly expressed in the concluding lines. Oh! Wind! If winter comes, can spring be far behind? In a nutshell, 
Shelley stands as a dreamer of a millennium. He upholds a prophecy of a vibrant and utopian society through this highly intellectual and symbolic ode. Finished. Please subscribe to the channel for more updates of ready-made notes on English literature. Also, please share this channel to help any student pursuing a degree in English literature. Please don't forget to like and comment.